Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to cross the Oresund once again and return to Denmark and we're going to revisit a brewery who have produced some really quite nice beers actually in recent times and they've also been a lot more prolific in the last year or two to be honest with you as well. So we're going to go back to Kaga which is a little bit to the south of Copenhagen and we're trying yet another beer from Ale Farm Brewing. And this one's a little bit different, normally this brewery are known for their sour beers and and also for their IPAs and things like that, but we're going to have a taste of one of their stouts. So this one is the Solemn Cycle Coconut, which is described as a coconut milk stout coming in at 7.8% ABV. From what I gather, this is a new variant of the original Solemn Cycle, which was an Imperial Coffee milk stout, which was supposed to be very, very good. So very curious to see how this one turns out. This is yet another beer that I bought on uh, Glass Bank in Punct SA. Um, basically, I got this one because I was really curious about how Ale Farm would do a stout because they are mainly an IPA and a sour beer brewery so I thought this would be a very very interesting beer to review because just simply because you don't find too many dark beers for them so hopefully it's a good one and as always I hope you guys enjoy my take on this beer so yeah as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that I've done from Ale Farm before no doubt I will add some more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Danish beers that I've reviewed for you. That's constantly being added to. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Ale Farm Brewing then. So on to my brewery notes before we taste the beer. So Ale Farm is basically the brainchild of Andreas Skeet Larsen and they were founded back in 2015. So they are still a relatively young brewery. But Andreas had been a home brewer for a while, but he'd also worked for a considerable period of time as a live librarian and originally Andreas based the brewery on uh, a farm north of Copenhagen but he soon moved the business to Kaga which is to the southwest of the city and for a long time he was working with a 200 litre brew kit which was intended as a sort of pilot transition brew kit and they recently very recently in fact opened up a new 20 hectolitre brewery in Greve and this has a canning line as well which is why their beers have been appearing in these sort of half litre cans uh, and they've also been starting to export their beers abroad as well. I know that the guys in uh, England have actually been getting a good few of their beers as well which is really nice to see but they've now got Mark Valevsky working for them as well now who previously worked for Beavertown and he's been behind uh, this kind of massive surge in production that these guys have had actually they've been a very very prolific brewery in recent times actually which is really cool uh, but mostly they focus on uh, like sour saisons and farmhouse ales and IPAs and stuff like this as I said to find a stout from these guys is pretty rare to be honest with you I think they've only produced a couple of these out of all the beers that they've produced in total so this one should be a very interesting one for us to review but yeah and that's all you really need to know at the moment about the brewery if you want to learn a little bit more of course you can check out the brewery website in the description below you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram and things like that and that's probably the best way to keep up to date with all the different beers that are being released from Ale Farm because like I said pretty prolific over the last year or so but yeah um, check out all those links in the description below let's get on to the actual taste of this beer itself. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this one is a coconut milk stout. It comes in at 7.8%. So, you know, I don't know if that's quite big enough to be described as an imperial stout. I would have always thought that it was anything over 8% would be what you would consider uh, an imperial stout actually. But um, yeah, it should be really nice this one. Like I said, I believe this is a kind of new iteration of the original Solemn Cycle, which was a kind of which was a coffee milk stout apparently. Very highly rated both on rate beer and on taps. But I just thought this one sounded uh, really quite interesting. But yeah, there you can see this is the kind of typical style of artwork that you will find from Ale Farm. Usually these almost like watercolour 
watercolour um, type paintings actually, but they're very, very similar in their style of artwork, but still very nice. There you can see the Ale Farm Brewing symbol on the back there. Solemn Cycle Coconut to give the beer its full name. Uh, coconut Milk Stout coming in at 7.8% ABV. But yeah, it says best before the uh, 21st of September 2019. So I'm guessing this beer has been in the can for uh, a couple of months actually. Maybe this is one that's been sat with uh, glass bank can actually for a little while to be honest with you but you know imperial stouts or stouts at this kind of strength will last a fair little bit actually but yeah let's get this guy out then and we'll get on with the tasting as i mentioned this one is a half litre can so you are getting a good danish uh, measure of beer actually so let's get it out and we will see how we get on with this one then yeah that looks really nice actually and when you open this beer up, you can smell a little bit of that lactosey sweetness there. We'll just try and be careful with this because obviously, when it, this beer head looks as if it is going to be a little bit active there. Um, but yeah, it looks very nice. So as you can see, and as you would expect from this beer, we'll get rid of the brewery notes now. As you can see, this one has poured a lovely dark ebony rosewood colour. If I hold that up to the light, um, to be honest with you, it doesn't even have a little bit of a kind of coca-cola edge to it. It is pretty much really dark ebony pitch black. You can see there's a solid two and a bit finger of a frothy, I would say mocha beige tan head on this one actually. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and you can see a few little ones just heading up towards the bottom of that head there. But you know, overall it does look pretty damn nice I have to say. So yeah, um, nothing particularly surprising about this beer. Uh, when you consider that it is an imperial stout so yeah <laughs> just you know nothing particularly surprising about it in that regard actually if i put my fingers behind the glass you're not going to see any transparency to this one primarily just because of how dark it is in color so yeah let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on with this one mm. now that's interesting this one smells a good bit more roasty and toasty than I was expecting. Normally when you come across a milk stout, um, you know, you expect it to be very lactosey and sort of milk chocolatey. This one really does have a little bit of a more roasty toasty backbone to it. Of course, you get the, the caramel notes coming out of this one. But yeah, it really does have a nice kind of roasty toasty backbone behind that. Definitely a little bit of that toasty black malt coming out of there. It's got a kind of darker, um, more higher cocoa percentage chocolate in there as well. Maybe a sort of, you know, 70-80% cocoa in there. I think milk chocolate is usually about 40 or 50 if I'm remembering correctly. But you really can smell a nice darker chocolatey note coming out of this one. And um, also some of the roasty black malts as well. Yeah, you can smell a little bit of earthiness from the hops, I think, too. It does have a little bit of a kind of grassy, floral sort of thing, and some of the red fruity esters are starting to come out of this beer as well. Yeah, but definitely nice kind of sweetness from the coconuts up front. You can pick up a little bit of the lactose. There is a little bit of a kind of regular kind of almond, pecan type nutty quality to this one, but that's quite minimal. There's maybe a little touch of a kind of woodiness to this beer as well. Maybe slightly leathery, something like that. But yeah, as I always say, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. But I have to say, this one wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting a big, kind of more milky chocolate aroma out of this beer. And also, you know, the, the coconuts are in there, but I didn't expect quite as, um, or, you know, quite as roasty a backbone as this one's kind of showing at the moment. But yeah, Take a little bit of time and just enjoy the aroma of that beer before you get stuck in. To me, this one comes across pretty nicely, actually. Just not quite what I was expecting. But that's what you always want when you're doing beer videos. You don't want it to be as you expect. You want to have to think about things a little bit. There is a little bit of a fruity quality to this one. It does have a little bit of a sharp um, raisiny quality in there. Maybe a little bit of a, a kind of berry note, but it almost smells like those kind of red fruity esters taste that you get from... Um, you know, high cocoa, um, your know, high cocoa chocolates. Actually, it really does taste, uh, smell a little bit like that. To be honest with you, almost a bit like an alcoholic cake. 
But yeah, as always say, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. But we're going to have a taste of this one now and just see how we get on. This one is the Solemn Cycle Coconut, a coconut milk stout coming in at 7.8% from Ale Farm Brewing in uh, Gravit, just outside of Copenhagen on Sealand in Denmark. Let's get stuck into this one. Slange Skull. First thing you're going to notice about this one, I was kind of guessing a little bit from the uh, the head. I don't know if it's been upset a little bit when it's been moving around. The carbonation is um, is actually quite active in this beer. You are going to notice that right away with this, but it smooths out very very nicely, and you definitely get some of these nice lactosey notes out of this beer. But yeah. You will notice that with this one, as you go through it, the carbonation just sort of rolls um, across the tongue and it just smooths out and gives you a really nice um, smooth malty backbone to the beer which I have to say I really quite like. Um, but yeah, this beer gets a thumbs up from me. It's not quite as bold as um, some of their IPAs and things like that are right enough, but this is a very smooth, kind of nice and sweet, easy drinker this one actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's more of an easy drinking stout, this, rather than one of their more bold beers, I would think. But, you know, sometimes you just want something that's nice and laid back and easy, actually. So it's cool to see them just have it, you know, when you try an ale farm beer, it is nice to have something that's just a little bit of a change of pace, to be honest. I would be curious to know about the, car the carbonation in this one. I do suspect that that's maybe just because it's been sitting a little bit actually and um, so yeah at this point in time you know it must have been sitting in the can for about um six months or so actually but you can get away with that with a stout there's nothing particularly wrong with that but maybe it's just um it's just because it has been sitting a little bit i would think but yeah let's try and break this flavor down then so you can feel a little bit of that roasty black malt there just forming the backbone of the beer. On top of that though, there's definitely a big lactosey presence there. That just smooths the whole center of your palate out, which is really nice. There is an element of a, a kind of breadiness to this beer as well, which is also um, quite nice. Let's just get a little bit more of this into the glass and we'll be careful with the pour, because as we saw, the carbonation is a little bit more active in this one. There we go. There's the last little bit. That's a nice pour, I have to say. But um, yeah, you definitely feel this beer. It comes in and it just smooths out um, pretty nicely, I have to say. But yeah, the lactose just smooths out this whole roasty, toasty, um, dark malt black bone. There's a nice sort of um, dark chocolate, high cocoa chocolate malty quality to this beer. Um, which, you know, I would say you're talking about an 80% um, dark chocolate in there. I think that comes out towards the back of the palate, but the more and more you drink of this one, the more it starts to lean towards the milky chocolate side of things, which is really good. But yeah, I like how this, um, I really do like how this, this goes together. This is definitely one of these beers where it's not about anything being too bold, it is more about just how these flavours kind of fit together. Um, this beer does have a sort of woody element to it and that's kind of infused throughout the whole malt base. The coconut flavours are sort of sitting in the middle of the palate but they just feel as if they're um, infused throughout the whole uh, malt base as well. Definitely a more woody element towards the front of the palate with this beer uh, and some of the, it does have an element of vanilla in there as well. When you go further forward on the palate you will get a little touch of vanilla um, out of this one. This beer, it's not too forward with its coconut, it is more just of a kind of infused flavour, but the lactosey and more milky flavours are coming out towards the front of the palate and then they seem to spread um, throughout the, you know, throughout the rest of the palate too. It does, um, you know, it, this beer does taste a little bit like it's coconut milk that they've actually added to it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, they have done that, you know, co if they add coconuts and uh, lactose to the beer or whether they're adding just simply coconut milk. I would be interested to know that, but I do suspect it is the latter, to be honest with you, just because of the way 
these flavours are kind of infused together. Um, maybe I'm just stating the obvious right enough. But in the very centre of your palate, you can feel there is a little touch of a slightly biscuity sweetness there, and that would be the kind of boozy side of the alcohol getting covered up by the malts. But really, the, the malt base on this one is quite nice. As I say, roasty black malt backbone, the lactose uh, character just blanketing that out. Further towards the front of the palate, you get that nice woody note. It feels as if these coconut flavours are just infused throughout the whole um, beer, which is, is very, very nice. Um, and as I say, the chocolatey side of this beer, a little bit of darker high cocoa chocolate towards the back of the palate, but more of a milky sweet chocolate towards the front of the tongue too, which is very nice. But yeah, in terms of the aroma um, with this beer, I would say that it definitely gives the impression that the beer is going to be a little bit more roasty, toasty than it actually is. This is more. This is definitely a sweet stout. I thought it might be a slightly more roasty, toasty sweet stout going by the aroma, but it really is very, very sweet in the uh, in the flavour profile as well. And the more that you drink of this, the more your palate adjusts to the uh, the carbonation of this beer too. The hops are very straight up also. I mean, you've got a little touch of earthiness there in the back corners of the palate. That smooths out as you just come further forward along the tongue. You do get a little bit of dryness, a little touch of a floral note there, but very minimal on the front corners of the palate. Then around the very front curve of the tongue, you can feel a nice little bit of lighter um, grassiness in there as well. And behind the front curve of the palate, that's where you get that nice oily bubble where some of those juicy fruity esters start to push their way out of the beer. Yeah, and I mean the fruity esters are pretty kind of straight up, it's just a very sort of mild, um, almost candied strawberry flavour. I mean the further you go into the aftertaste there's maybe a wee touch of a kind of figgy, datey sort of thing in there, but mainly it's just a nice kind of candied strawberry. It reminds me of the little um, heart shaped sweets that, in, that you get in the Haribo Starbucks. It does have a little bit of that on it, but there is a little touch of a, maybe a a dainty or figgy juicy quality there um, also um, but yeah it's really nice just how everything in this beer goes together I mean by no means is this the, the boldest beer that you're going to get from Ale Farm this one's definitely more of a nice kind of subtle um, dessert but you know this would be nice with a little bit of clad cocoa and some cream or uh, or something like that you know it's one of it, to me this is a nice kind of sessionable um, dessert beer this one it's not a beast of a stout it's just quite a nice easy going drinkable one and I do like beers like this I mean um, the Riptide from Brewdog back in the day, that was one of my, that was the first beer that really introduced me to the Sweet Stout and I still absolutely love that beer and this one does remind me of that quite a little bit so in some ways this beer for me has a little bit of uh, nostalgia value but I think coconut um, is something that really kind of works well in, um, in, in stouts. I do quite like my coconut stouts right enough but I was never a great fan of Bounty Chocolate which is kind of interesting. The coconut flavours and even coffee stouts, I'm not a, I don't drink coffee at all. Um, it's quite strange that when you try some of these flavours in beers how they really start to grow on you but a thumbs up to, uh, to Ale Farm Brewing for this one. This is a really nice beer and I would actually like to try the original Solemn Cycle, the uh, coffee milk stout. I think that would be a very interesting beer so hopefully I can find that over in Copenhagen at some point. So uh, yeah, um, so in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer then, definitely mid-bodied. Carbonation is very smooth on this one although it does start off with a little bit of prickle but it smooths out the further you go into the aftertaste. This beer really has a good balance between a kind of creamy mouthfeel. There's a little touch of an oily quality there particularly on the, in the front of the palate and that helps bring out some of the fruity aspects of the beer and also a little bit of the kind of um, chocolatey side of it as well, particularly the milky chocolate, the oily side of the beer helps bring some of that out. But you've got a nice little bit of hoppy smoothness in there and some nice kind of um, juicy fruity qualities to the beer also. But yeah, a really nice beer this one. It's cool to see Ale Farm having a go at some different styles and I do hope that I can review the original Solemn Cycle for you at some point over the next little while because this one, I have to say, is pretty damn good and I'm sure if you add some coffee beans into this, this beer is only going to get even better than that. 
So yeah, let's leave it at that for this one. It's been really cool to return to Ale Farm for what I believe is my fourth review from these guys. But once again, thank you for watching my beer reviews. They've done a great job with this uh, with this stout. Definitely not their boldest beer, but just another very nice uh, solid beer, which you can come to expect from Ale Farm these days. But um, check out some of their beers if you get the chance. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Ale Farm as well, and we'll definitely return to these guys in the fairly near future. But thank you again for watching. Make sure you check out my social media, and I will catch you guys very soon. This is the Solemn Cycle Coconut from Ale Farm Brewing in uh, Greve, just outside of Copenhagen in Denmark. Until the next time, slide just now, and I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you check out this beer if you get the chance. You can get it on gla uh, Glassbank and Point SA. Slange, school.